which is an annual program coordinated by the Centre for Dialogue at La Trobe University and the Islamic Council of Victoria. The Centre for Dialogue is a major initiative of uh, La Trobe University and it was founded by Emeritus Professor Joseph Camilleri and inaugurated um, in uh, August 2006. The Muslim Leadership Program off is now in its ninth year and it offers young people an opportunity to come to Canberra and to network with Australia's uh, leading shapers of public policy and opinion, uh, both in uh, Melbourne, Canberra and Sydney, as well as engaging with future thought leaders from Muslim communities in Australia, Southeast Asia and the Middle East. I'm very proud to have hosted this program. Uh, Deputy Speaker, for most of the nine years it has been running, I have had the opportunity to host it. And this year in particular, I am honoured to be welcoming to Parliament House, or was honoured to welcome to Parliament House, the members of the Muslim Leadership Programme for 2014. They are, Deputy Speaker, and you will attest to this because you were present during some of those discussions. They are, um, they are ten exceptionally talented and bright young people, of, of young Australians of Muslim faith, who come from very diverse backgrounds, ethnicities and professions. And I'd like to take this opportunity to name the participants uh, for this year. And they are Ms uh, Rahina Ahmendu, who is a university student uh, at Melbourne University, and her interest uh, is in social enhancement and education in ethnic communities with specific interest in the Oromo people. Uh, Mr Mohammed Ali Bakiri, a 23-year-old uh, second-year law student at Victoria University. Uh, Mohammed is a refugee himself and a refugee advocate. He has a passion for human rights and learning as much as he can about Australia's refugee uh, policy. Uh, I'd like to mention Ms Aisha Dani, who is a uh, start-up manager with an interest uh, uh, in uh, business education and social enterprise. Uh, Ms. Subria Eshak, uh, who is a final year law student and hopes to one day pursue a career in brand management. Mr. Abdul Hamoud, uh, a salesperson and an artist and uh, interested in education and uh, policies that affect minorities in marginalised communities. Mr. Muhammad Ali Hidzi, um, a university prison chaplain. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ms. Amina Ziad. Uh, university student at Monash and editor of the magazine. Uh, Fatima Hoblos, Mr. Wail Mohammed, who's a youth worker, and finally Mr. Ruben Street, an award-winning filmmaker whose film Once Upon a Mountain received an award for Best Social Benefit Documentary in the Eugene International Film Festival for 2013. Um, I want to congratulate these young people for being here. Uh, we had a great discussion. All, of, all members who participated in those discussions learned a lot from them and they had an opportunity to voice their concerns uh, to us as, uh, lead, as political leaders. Thank you. Order. Will the honourable member for Robertson 